What is going on, Pokemon Card Nation? Welcome back to another video. We have just hit 1,000 subscribers, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to get older packs fast enough. I'm still working on that. Uh, we got Sun and Moon base set packs and a trainer's toolkit because there was nothing else at the store. The Sun and Moon base I got from a local game shop. Everything else they had, they were charging like up price, except Sun and Moon base was $3.99. So I was like, you know what? Why not? There's a cool Lily card in here. Why not? So uh, let's go ahead and crack open these Sun and Moon packs. Hopefully we get something good. I don't know if we will. That's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm paranoid. They, they just ripped open really good. I don't see any excess glue or anything. So, But this card in the back is garbage. That's okay. Maybe the card in the real back is good. Dragonair, Golbat, Pokemon, Catcher, Chinchow, Alolan Rattata, Raganarola, Marini, Crab Brawler, Reverse Caterpie, Regular Rare, Primarina. I've never had really good luck with Sun and Moon Base. I opened a lot of it when it came out because it just Pokemon got really popular again. You know, everyone, a lot of people went to the Sun and Moon pre-release. And then when Guardians Rising came out, it's a lot less people. But basically, you know, Pokemon Go had just come out. Pokemon Sun and Moon just came out. Pokemon was super high in popularity like it is now. Actually, it's probably even more now than it was then. Ultra Ball, Alolan Rattata, but back then, people weren't trying to flip sealed products from Walmart for money. Crab Brawler, Growlithe, Reverse Sharpedo, that is a really cool reverse hollow. I miss these reverse hollows. New ones just don't do it for me. And a regular rare Broxish. We've got a Decidueye pack up next. These things are just popping open, aren't they? Just popping right open. There's a code for you. Everything seems legit. We got codes and everything. So I can't be too concerned. Let's keep going. We've got a Lightning Energy, a Golbat. Did we already pull a Golbat? We did. Pokemon Catcher, Toracat, Shelter, sticking his tongue out, Zubat, Poplio, Stuffle. There is a Crobat Hollow in here. So if we pull it, we pull the full evolution line. Reverse Young Goose, regular rare Lantern. I've got some Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Unleash blister packs on the way. Not sure if I'm gonna keep those, what I'm gonna do with them, but I do have some on the way. I'm excited to, I'll show them to you guys at the very least if we don't open them. We have Darkness Energy, Team Skull Grunt, Pinsir, Ultra Ball, which the secret rare of this Ultra Ball used to be the most expensive card in this set. Poplio, Stuffle, I don't think it is anymore. Wingle, Dratini, Reverse Spinda, Regular rare Primarina, all dud packs. All dud packs. That's okay. We have a trainer's toolkit. Not sure what's in these. I know there's a Dedene promo. There's a couple packs. Last I remember, there was an Unbroken Bonds pack, but that could have been changed with the newest release of these. And I never bought one of these before. They're really for players, but there's a cool promo in here, and I want it. I want it. So I guess I could have brought the promo separately, but that's no fun. That's no fun. Plus, this kind of this box is pretty awesome looking. A lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be, too. Okay, this is everything we get inside. There's burning shadows in there. These cool sleeves, although Pokemon like official sleeves aren't very good. They kind of suck. There's our cool Dedene promo. Think there might be two of them. I don't know if I should keep this thingy sealed or not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep this coat. No, actually, you guys can have it. I don't, I don't really play online anymore. I don't even think... I don't know for sure, but I don't know if the Dene is that good. I think this is all energy, at least anymore. It used to be. We've got some dice. Kind of like an Elite Trainer box, but a little different. Damage and poison thingies. Didn't know Burning Shadows was in here. We've got our Sword and Shield rule book. And what else have we got? There's something else in here. Gotta get it out. Uh, the Trainer's Toolkit book. I think that's everything. And we've got the packs. Watch us pull the Charizard from this thing. That'd be awesome. Now we have Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, Rebel Clash, and Rebel Clash. Last I knew it was Unbroken Bonds, but I'll take Burning Shadows. Uh, before we get into those, I've got some cool cards. I've got a Blaine's Typhlosion versus Series First Edition that I'm going to sell. This Gyarados, and I bought this awesome Lunala GX that I desperately needed for my Ultra Prism set before that set really does go up because that's the one set that I still think was the most underprinted in Sun and Moon, even with its reprint. It was not printed very much. There was, I think my stores only got like one, one release of them. 
and then that was it nobody else around me ever carried them after the first like the first day they came out we have metal energy air balloon we are looking for gold zacian golden zamazenta or the secret rare marnie from this set gamper i bought one for a good price the other day but the seller canceled quillfish cloister as the regular rare up next we've got rebel clash everyone's favorite set golden frost moth or boss's order is definitely the way to go with this set uh there's some other cool cards i think there's a milotic full art in here too which i wouldn't mind my milotic's pretty cool i actually have a psa 9 milotic reverse hollow from the platinum set and i do believe that one is a shiny yes it is it's behind me it is shiny sir skit magikarp made it tight milsery growlith reverse grubbin and a nine tails v nine tails is awesome we'll take it we will take it i think it's going to be hilarious if i pull the charizard from a burning shadows pack that was in a trainer's toolkit but nobody else was buying these and i was like well i gotta want to open something for my videos i was getting you guys know it's rough out there hard to find anything these days so rebel clash again keep your eyes out even rebel clash i can't even find rebel clash anymore it's like near impossible everyone's just buying everything it's not just scalpers either a lot of people sit there and blame scalpers but as people collecting i mean they're just they just can't keep up with demand because of all the issues going on electrode grubbin electabuzz natu honage the sword impidimp reverse corsola hollow cursola and up next we have burning shadows everybody's favorite charizard chase set i think oh no it's not resealed i can tell you guys that right now but it look it was just a bad crimp there's no way that was resealed um it doesn't look like any of my cards got crimped so that's fine watch the charizard be ah we got one we did get a crimped card you see it we'll uh we'll take a look at it in a minute we've got darkness energy wishful baton Mount Lana Killa, I don't remember which card it was. Wick, is it Wick? Sock, nope. Esper, maybe I passed it. Nope, it's the Pan Sage. My first crimped card ever, that's funny. We got Pan Poor, Porygon, Reverse Alolan Raticate. Is this the Charizard? No, it's not, it's a Tangaroth, guys. We have pulled a regular rare Tangaroth. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy that video? Let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Hopefully Friday is a Tag All-Stars GX box. Really depends on how fast the post office moves. So don't get your hopes up. But thank you for watching. I will see you all on Friday. Have a good one. Bye now.